The scheduling of performance-based maintenance plans is based on the estimated annual performance entered in the reference object counter. The daily performance is then calculated from the estimated annual performance. A time period is then calculated from the daily performance and maintenance cycle. By adding this time period to the start date of the maintenance plan, a new planned date is determined. At the same time, a new planned counter reading is calculated by adding the cycle value to the current counter reading. If a measurement document is entered, which reaches or exceeds the call horizon, the call is carried out. In other words, the order or notification or service entry sheet is generated. The call horizon is specified as a percentage and refers to the duration of the cycle. It specifies when an order should be generated with reference to a calculated maintenance date. If a measurement document is entered, the planned date is thereby recalculated. In other words, the planned dates are controlled directly by the measurement documents entered. This means to obtain a planned date, which exactly reflects the performance throughput, measurement documents must be regularly entered. The scheduling functions for the performance-based strategy plan are the same with one exception, namely, the single cycle plan. At the start of the cycle, it is possible to go directly into an existing process flow for preventive maintenance, see time-based strategy plan. Hint, when you start the performance-based maintenance plan, a smaller counter reading than that of the last measurement document can be entered. The reason for this is that by entering a smaller counter reading, a type of start in the cycle is achieved, that is, the first date can come earlier for the same cycle. Thank you.